video I'm going to show you guys how to make your first YouTube banner so if you're interested in making a banner then this video is surely for you so no further ado let's jump right into this video today I'm going to show you guys how to make a YouTube banner now these are the apps you're going to use which is Canva Lightroom and Unsplash you can use the apps Canva and Unsplash or you can go to their website. I'll put the links down below. Now on Unsplash you can search in the bar Cloud Aesthetics and it's going to show you different types of beautiful picture pictures that you can actually choose from. Whatever one you like you can choose from but the one that I use is from Thomas Sikora and it's the 17 photo on his profile that I use. I like the look of it, so that's why I choose it. You can use this one or you choose whatever photo you like. Now we're going to go to Google and you're going to type in YouTube banners. And we're going to use the first image that we see because it's going to be our foundation of making our banners now once you click on the image you're going to hold down the image itself and you're going to click on add to photos so that it can save into your gallery the next step we're going to take is we're going to go to um, canva and we're going to choose our template so you're going to go to canva and you're going to type in youtube banner and we're going to choose the margarita um, template and once we do that we're going to remove some of the accessories that's on it because we don't want it before i go any further i want to say let me apologize guys before we go and add our image we're just going to tweak our photo that we choose and we're going to add to lightroom so that we can actually edit the photos so we're going to go to the light and we're going to choose exposure and the exposure is going to be from negative 0 0.5 the contrast is going to be negative 45 highlights going to be negative 45 the shadow is going to be plus 22 and you're going to go to effects and we're going to choose vibrance which is plus 25 and saturation which is plus 30 and after we've done that we're going to go to details and we're going to turn up our sharpening our sharpening to 150. now we're going to go back to canva and we're going to choose that foundation image which is the 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 youtube banner um foundation and we're going to add it to our template that we chose on canva so we're going to enlarge it and we're going to tweak with the words we're going to tweak everything and fix it into a nice little cute little banner and it's going to be so simple so what you're going to do you're going to line up your image with the middle of the foundation that we choose from google so you can actually 
change the transparency of the photo so that it's light so that you can actually work and see what you're doing what i did is i removed the accessories and i'm going to now bring down the words a little because you know the youtuber banner is going to be um, zoomed in more once you go into the youtube studio so i'm going to type in my name and the font that i'm going to be using is called amsterdam one so you, once you type it into the search bar the name should pop up and um once you choose you can choose whatever font you want to use whatever is your liking but i'm going to use the amsterdam one and i'm going to size this down to 90. And I'm just going to place it the where I, where I want it to be, where I think it looks good and cute. So you're going to place it like that. I'm going to actually look on how I place it just to make sure if it's correct. just like that it's already looking cute and guys i know it's taking forever to finish but just trust the process because once you're finished it's going to look totally bomb and cute go to effects and choose shadow we're going to change the shadow to pink or any color of your desire we're gonna turn up the transparency to 60 I'm going to put what my channel is about here I'm just gonna look back to the original photo just to make sure that I have the correct thing. Now we're going to remove the foundation we use. You don't have to follow this step, but I'm going to add a background color. I want to say this is the finished product. I hope you like it. Please remember to subscribe. Ooh.